Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today I have some Bardell Rubio books and PDFs to share with you. He basically, he sells them himself. He doesn't sell through any like Amazon anymore or Etsy or anything like that. So you have to contact him directly. So many of you might not know about it when he comes out with a new book. So I wanted to share things that I have from him that if you're interested, you might want to go over to his Facebook page. I'm going to start off with this book that I just purchased. This is called Underwater. Um, he also came out with another one called Verses. I'm going to leave you the link to his Facebook group if you want to contact him directly about purchasing one of his PDF books. He always posts flip, a flip through of his new books. So this one, Underwater and Verses, is the newest, are the newest ones. This one in particular caught my eye, so I ended up purchasing this one. They are, um, I think they're all about $21, his books. So I can see kind of, you might think it's a little bit on the expensive side, but I think his work is really gorgeous, and I really like to support him. I didn't print out every single page from the book. There was a few I didn't print Just out. Just because I didn't think I would color all of them. You know, I'm very portrait um, very focused on just coloring portraits for the most part and there was a couple that were um, they're very pretty too but they were like um, you know some more scener scenery type things so I didn't print those out I was like oh if I want to print them out at some point I will I always have you always have them so that's why um, if you want to go check out the whole and complete the whole complete book um, go head over to his Facebook page Another really cool thing about this book, it's actually in um, like a sepia tone, which I don't have a color copier, so that's why I was able, I just printed it out in black and white. But um, I'll pop up a little example of what I mean when I say it's in a sepia tone. Um, so you can print it out either way. But this is, so um, this is really, really beautiful artwork from him. Um, it looks even more stunning if you see it um, in the, this kind of sepia tone that he has um, on the pages, too. I did just finish coloring a page. I'll show you when I get to it. The empty spot. So you see it's all mermaids. Mermaid stuff. And he always has, like, very, like, unusual faces. You'll kind of notice that as a theme throughout a lot of his books. Um, like they're always not, some of them are, you know, that you could conventionally pretty, but some of them you might not think, like on, upon first looking at them, they look a little bit different sometimes. More, also a little bit more realistic, to be honest with you. I think, um, you know, you're used to seeing like all these beautiful faces for these coloring pages, which is fun to color too, but it's also nice sometimes to get, um, you know, like more realistic faces too. Now this is the empty space where I had the one that I did. I just finished this up today and I put it on some cardstock and I, cause I wanted to use my watercolors and this is kind of like my new thing now is to um, attach my cardstock to watercolor paper so I can use my watercolor paints. And I did the background in Supervision, um, their muted gray tones, Mirandi, I call them Mirandi colors, but I think more people are more, most mostly familiar with them being known as gray tones or mid tones. So I tried those out on here and I did Fruit Funner 520 colored pencils and I added some stickles for the fish did. Um, washi tape for a frame for that one. So that one was a lot of fun. I was surprised I actually finished this one in one day, a couple of hours. I'm still home from work sick. So I, that's why I had all day to do it. So I got to go back to work tomorrow. Ugh. So then there's these couple of mermaid, more mermaid images. And like I said, there's a few more that I didn't print out. I think there's maybe like 18 images altogether this book so that's the first one I wanted to share with you now I was just gonna show you I have some more PDFs from him this book 
is called Ardana. I don't know if I ever showed this one to you guys. I probably did, but I don't remember. But I think this was one. This was the first PDF book I purchased from him. I do like this one a lot, a lot even though it does have like, I'm not really so crazy for all these lines. But what are you gonna do? It's kind of like you have to shade over them. I did color this page, and I have it somewhere. I should have put it together with this one to show you guys, but I forgot where I put it. This one also is, um, this is one page I did. I like this one that I used um, my Spectrum Noir glitter brush pens on the, the bug's wings. Um, I probably did this with uh, Prismacolors, I bet, and markers. This one is oh, really cool, one? too, because I got to get my picture um, drawn for this coloring book, too, which is super cool. And I should have, I have, I've had this since last year, and I haven't colored it yet. And I keep meaning to color it, and but I'm kind of... It's kind of funny to color yourself because I don't know. But I, I, I think I think it was last year that I got this done. This was he drew this off of my um, profile page at the time. I was my intention actually was I wanted to color this and make it be my profile picture. Maybe someday that'll happen. Um, and then this one, I think it's just a Christmas PDF. Um, I know I have a flip through on this one for sure. I think I did one with music. But this is really nice for Christmas. I did color this page. I think I did alcohol markers and stickles. And then this one's nice too. You can make it into like, if you had a Christmas party or doing invitations or something, you could write something in here nice, like a poem or something, or maybe even leave a letter for Santa Claus with your kids. Oh, this is also to a Christmas list, too. You could do a Christmas list on that page, too. Now we'll get into the books. You know, this one is called, this one they don't make anymore. This, all of these books are by Phoenix Amulet Publishing. And I don't know what's up with that publisher because they do still sell some books on Amazon, but they don't seem to be ever making any newer new books. And they did have an Etsy page that was like defunct for a long time. And then just recently they all of a sudden started um, selling PDFs versions of these books. Mascara, Bursting Midnight Enchantments. Now this one's really interesting too. I got these on eBay, the ones that aren't published anymore. They have like this hidden spiral binding to them. And these were published in 2017. Uh, these kind of like started it all for me that I was interested in Mardell's work because I came across them on Amazon when I was looking for spiral bound coloring books and I saw these I'm like oh these are interesting but then I saw they weren't available anymore so I was like oh no so then I you know I looked in all the usual usual used book places like a books and thrift books and I couldn't find, I didn't find them anywhere. I think actually these books might even be up now on Amazon. I saw like, but whoever's selling it's asking for like over a hundred dollars for just one of these books. So just by chance on eBay, I think I must've did a search for his name on eBay, just on the off chance that I would find something. You know, 
and I was super lucky that I found one person was selling this one, Serena and Zodiac Color, which Zodiac Color you could still get on Amazon. So that's not like a hard to find one. So they were selling a th all three of them. I forget how much, but I think whatever the price was, it was maybe about 25 ish dollars per book, which it's basically almost the regular retail of them anyway. So I was like, what a miracle that I had just happened to discover this artist. And like a couple of days later, I found all the books that I was looking for right on eBay. So I said, this is a sign that I had, that I had to buy these. So I was, I was like, you know, I usually don't like to spend so much money, especially all at once. It feels like worse when you spend all the money at once. Um, but I was like, um, I know it was on a, it wasn't like a buy it now either. It was, a, um, an auction. So I was, I was like, oh man, I hope nobody else bids on these books and nobody else ended up bidding on them. I think I like did like a stealth bidder bid at the end, like right before it ended and I got them. So, and you say, Crystal, it doesn't look like you colored any pictures in here. Well, you're correct. I haven't colored any pictures in here yet, but they're beautiful books anyway, so I love, I'm just happy that I have them. We'll look at the next one. That is Colorful Dreams of Mermaid and Seashells. This is my favorite one. Serena. This is also from 2017. Maybe I'll put some music in here too because I think I'm starting to lose my voice <laughs> from talking too much. Oh boy, I haven't talked in so long because I've been homesick. I had to stay home for five days. And, you know, not talking. I don't, I live by myself, so I only have my cat. Like I talk to him every once in a while. And I did just go to the doctor's this morning, so I wasn't talking too much there either so I'm like all right I'm good to go let's I'm all better but I guess talking even just a little bit to you guys um sounds funny I don't know it might even actually sound normal to you guys but maybe in my head it sounds funny I think I have a kind of a funny voice anyway when I first started um started this channel I was like mortified how, how my voice sounded. I was like, oh my goodness, I can't do this. I'm gonna have to like find some sort of, you know how those channels have those fake um, robot voices? I was like, oh, maybe I can do something like that. But after a while, I got used to it. This one's like this. You get used to your voice after a while hearing it. And I haven't colored anything in any of these books yet either. And I really need to. So many books, so little time. That's my motto. That's um, every one of our sayings, right? It's a colorist, collector colorist motto. I do mostly just like collecting books just to look at them a lot of times too just for the artwork of them I like them the collectibleness of them this is really pretty okay, we'll do this one zodiac color next this one is was also from those three eBay sales that I got. You'll notice if you do buy this on Amazon, it's not in this same kind of with the hidden sp uh, spiral bound thing here. I think it's just regular like this one is spiral bound. This one is from 2018. 
this one um, is kind of more um, zodiac. Well, that's why it's called zodiac color. <laughs> more astro astrological and zodiac um, themed. Although some of them, I don't know what sign they're representing. I'm wondering, maybe it could be also be um, maybe Chinese zodiacs too, or something besides just our regular traditional sun signs, perhaps. There's tigers. I don't know what that is. A bear. Some snakes. Probably represents Taurus, I would imagine. It's a bull. Rabbits. That's Chinese zodiac, I think. And that's a ram. That could be um, maybe Capricorn. I don't know. I'm probably getting them all wrong. <laughs> dragon. This is multiple dragons, I think. This one looks like Libra. That's a Libra symbol. She looks a little bit off unbalanced, like scales a little bit. Oh, she, they have the little signs inside, hidden inside there. Fish, that's probably Pisces, I guess, with all the fish. That must be the Pisces symbol. Um, oh, Scorpio over here. You got the Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio, so I know that one. This one's really pretty. This one, maybe Gemini. Maybe they're twins, perhaps. This is a pig, maybe for the year of the pig. That's Chinese zodiac, I think. This looks like Capricorn again, maybe. This is. More fish, that looks like Pisces again. A lion, for Leo, perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps. <laughs> I'm gonna start singing that song. Um, maybe this looks like Taurus. Got the horns. This is probably Cancer, or crab, that looks like a crab symbol. This is probably Sagittarius, I guess, with the arrow. That's Sagittarius sign, symbol there. Sagittarius probably again. More fish for Pisces. Um, I don't know about that one. Oh, maybe Virgo, because a, a girl. That's probably... Taurus. I don't know. This looks like everybody hanging out together, all the different set all the different animal signs. Oh, this one's very sweet with the bunny rabbit. I like these older ones. They have these nice big pull-out pages at the end. Okay, so now we just have one more left to share with you guys. And that is this one. It's um, the Invisible City. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. Burning hand Gan? I don't know. And this is the newest one. This, I think this is the last one that um, Margell Rubio and Phoenix Abulet probably work together on. There are a few other ones, um, I think by Amul Phoenix Amulet Publishing, but they're not like in this kind of nice format. They're just regular paperback books. Now there's the one Christmas, 
like Silent Night, I think it's called. And maybe one, oh, there's another one with like a rooster, with roosters in it. You know, I'm not really crazy for animals so much, so I didn't, wasn't really um, interested in getting that one. But this one's really beautiful too. Of course, I haven't colored anything in this one either. But bringing them out and showing you guys, kind of getting me um, in the mood to color more of his stuff. And there's probably even more PDF books that I don't even know about. I have to look again on his Facebook page because he just came out with two new ones in, back in April too. And he did message me about it and I didn't really, um, forgot to check it out and look, but this looks like the cover. goodness it's so hot this week guys it's like I know I'm complaining I'm think I, I just watched um Norma's one of Norma's videos and she lives in Texas and I think she was saying it's over 100 degrees and I think it's only like maybe 90 degrees where I am here in New Jersey so I'm like oh I could I couldn't imagine living um in one of those hotter states I'm like dying with 90 degrees so I don't have air conditioning in my coloring room here, but I have it in the living room. So I'll usually leave that on and, you know, it kind of cools off the whole house. But today it's really hot. So I had to put the fan on like right next to me. So probably this whole video is just like the whoosh, whoosh, whooshing of the fan. Hopefully not. Um, if, if, if that does happen, I'll try and put some music underneath it. So it'll make me sound a little bit better, especially with my, um, voice, my squeaky voice. Um, it's nice. All right. So that's my entire collection of Mardell Rubio books. Um, if you want to get this one, or I think even this one, you can, I'll leave the links down below for Amazon. These are still available on Amazon. These two, you can't get any more um, in the physical copy, but I know are available on Etsy, so you can easily purchase them through Phoenix Amulet. I'll leave you the link, like I said before, for that one. I have three different PDF books in that folder. And my newest one, which is the one I think I love the most, I guess because it's the newest one. Um, I want I want to do another page from this one. Hopefully this month. Probably want to make another one of these bigger pages. Where am I going to put all these things that I'm framing and making like all these canvases and what have you? <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be in a big pile probably in the corner of my coloring room. Because I really don't have any place to hang them up. That would look cohesive. Oh, actually, you know what? <gasps> you guys, I just remembered. I have this picture frame that I bought from TJ Maxx. That was like, oh, I'm going to show you. Look at this. I think this is perfect. I got this on clearance from TJ Maxx. I could put it in, I could put this in here and hang this up. It's kind of like broken, but not really that broken. I could fix it. But look, I got it for $3.50 on clearance. I was like, oh, one day I'm going to put something, I'll use this for something. Because I'm guessing this is what, I don't know if this is supposed to be a picture or what. But I don't think so. I think it's just a Oh, Burns of Boston. Oh, I guess this is supposed to be the artwork in the picture frame, but whatever. I don't like it. I'm going to take that out and put my, my, um, my page in here. Perfect. Even this matches. Great. All right. So thanks for hanging out with me for a little while and 
taking a look at all of my Mar del Rubio collection of books and PDFs. And I hope everyone has a really great day. Happy coloring, and I'll see you next time.